Hello and welcome. This video is about the Julia programming language. We are starting with a brief overview of Julia, taking a look at Julia growth in the last years, which companies are using Julia, and in the end we are summarizing and try to figure out if it's worth learning Julia. One of the best resources, at least in my opinion, to get an overview of Julia is the official Julia page, julialang.org. I will link that in the video description. So we have Julia in a nutshell here, fast, dynamic, reproducible, composable, general and open source. If you want to have some more detailed information, you can click on those blue marked words here. So let's take a look at maybe one of the most important features of Julia, the high performance. So if we are clicking on that, we are getting a performance comparison between Julia and different other programming languages such as C, JS, Java, Python and R. And as you see here, Julia is performing pretty nicely. So if you want to have some more detailed information, click yourself through those blue marked words here. Another cool feature on this page is that if you don't want to download Julia for whatsoever reason, you can try out Julia in your browser. So let's do that. If we are clicking this link, an interactive Julia shell is opening and we could actually code in Julia right now. So let's do some examples. Let's do 1 plus 1 here, 5 to the power of 2. And we could print out stuff here, just as an example. So you can play a bit around here but I recommend of course to just download Julia it's not that complicated and you can even integrate Julia in Jupyter Notebook and have a nice environment to code in Julia. Now let us take a look at the growth of Julia therefore I found this pretty nice article titled is Julia fastest growing new programming language which is slightly outdated but no worries I will subsequently provide some more recent numbers. In this article is a pretty nice quote summarizing what Julia is all about. It is from the four creators of Julia, stating Julia combines the functionality of quantitative environments such as R and Python with the speed of production programming languages like Java and C++ to solve big data and analytics problems. Or in easier words, as easy as Python and R, but much more faster. Okay, now let us take a look at the growth rates. Therefore, we are considering this pretty nice table here containing the numbers for 2018 and 2019 and the relative change between those numbers. So let's start with the number of Julia downloads. We are noticing an increase of roughly 80%. We have Stack Overflow questions, an increase of 90%. GitHub stars, we have an increase of over 100%. And even in academics, we have an increase of 70%. The next chart is containing a more long-term analysis. We are going back until 2012 and we are noticing this linear increase here and in the mid of 2018 this is more like an exponential increase here, right? And we are ending in 2019 with roughly 20,000 GitHub stars. The nice thing is now we can compare that with the actual amount of GitHub stars right now. So I think they are contained here. Yes, they are. So right now we have 30,000 GitHub stars. So as you see, the trend is going on. Let us take a look at some more recent numbers and also some practical applications. Therefore, this site is very good, juliacomputing.com. So as you see here, we have over 20 million downloads as of September 2020. We have an annual growth rate of roughly 80%. And combined Julia and its packages, we have over 80,000 GitHub stars. As you might have noticed, here are some practical applications of using Julia. So, for example, parallel supercomputing, robot locomotion, infrastructure projects. This one I found pretty interesting airborne collision avoidance system developed by the FAA with the help of Julia. And this one as well for me with a finance background, very interesting. The infamous platform Aladdin seems to be upgraded with the help of Julia. So check that out, many more applications. So definitely have a read here, very interesting and informative as well. Okay, let us briefly summarize and also discuss if it's a replacement skill for Python or R in data science. First of all, Julia has a very simple syntax such as Python or R, but is way faster than those two programming languages. 
While Python and R are interpreted languages, Julia is a compiled programming language. Julia has gone through a high growth in the last years and in specific in the most recent years. Highly reputable firms are using Julia, so it might be an interesting thing to learn Julia. But does it replace Python and R in the field of data science? In my opinion, Python and R are still one of the most common and in-demand programming languages in data science. Knowing Julia is a nice additional skill on your resume, but is not yet replacing Python or R skills. Data science in general is a highly competitive field. Knowing Julia has two main advantages for aspiring data scientists or data scientists in general. First is you have an additional skill that makes you stand out from the crowd. And second is your employer sees that you are interested in tech trends, which can be important in the very dynamic field of data science. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was informative for you. If it was, drop me a like and subscribe to this channel. I'm pretty sure you will see Julia again on this channel. If you have additional comments, let me know. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.